What's going on YouTube? Short damn to tell y'all a deer hunting story. To where, where a big old buck got, got past me on my birthday. So this story was took place today, Sunday. This story took place yesterday. So basically, it just happened. So that mean I can't miss that now. And I remember, and I got some clips. I already posted a video when I was hunting. But... So what happened was, it was deer dog hunting, right? Just normal deer dog hunting, and the dogs was running good. Then, boom, we heard like two or three shots before we heard it. Then, them dogs were running, that, right once we got to the stand, them dogs jumped up that buck. That's all we heard. All we heard was dogs jumping. So, while we was in the woods waiting on them dogs to get to us, the dogs got close. Then the dog just stopped. They lost the buck. So I was sitting about 40 yards away from somebody and about 50 yards away from somebody on my other side. And then last thing I know, I heard a twig break. And it was that big old buck. He was about 50, 60 yards in front of me. With bushes in front of me, I couldn't see him. He was right down my face. I had my heart started beating because this would have been the first buck I ever killed dog driving. So my heart like dropped because I thought he was about to run right past me. So I had, so I put the gun up. And I about caught it, but I didn't. And then, it's not the same clip y'all seen. It's a different clip. And then, whenever I had the gun, all right, two seconds later, it was a little dude. His name Jr. He was with us. The deer, the deer came out in a, in a, in a shooting lane that he was in. The deer was not scared of none of us. That deer came out in a shooting lane. Then Jr. said, a big, a deer, a deer, a deer. So obviously the deer ran. He said he went to, back to the truck and got his gun, but he didn't do that. He had the gun, but he didn't shoot the deer. So while we aiming over here, and then the, the man, Nell, he was right there beside me. He had the gun up, he had the gun. All of us, was, all of us had the guns up. Think, thinking that buck was about to come right out. He ain't came out, he was smart. That buck ran through them bushes. Cut over. While we aiming this way, he cut all the way over. Okay, my nigga was done. I hear him. Downstairs, I can hear him. Then he came, cut through two two people. That's on my um right. Oh, I swear, if I would have had, if I would have been aiming this way, I threw him. I would have shot that buck. But air, and then the dude that was 15 yards away from the buck, he was in the little trees. The buck never seen him. The dude was aiming, was looking at us, thinking that buck was about to come out on us. So it's the mother man Corey. His name Corey. He was looking in the same direction of us, but the buck tried to cross in between him. Like it was the dude looking this way, and then Corey. Corey looking this way too. So the buck crossed in between him. This dude right here did not see him, but Corey that was looking this way, he seen him. So he shot. Boom! I looked and I could see the buck lob down and take off in the woods. I could just see his back, like from his neck back, and he took off in the woods. That's when I knew it was a buck by his body. Lord Jesus, that was a big old buck. Amen. So, Corey shot once. Boom, he only had one shot because the dude that was bes that was beside the buck, Lord knows he could have busted. He could have shot that deer. That deer would have dropped right there. Or pretend. Think I'm, if that, he wasn't looking this way, if he was looking this way, when the deer crossed, all he had to do was put the gun up and shoot. Because that deer was right here. He could have did like this. But somebody was over there. It was a cut down. And you'll see that. But when the dude shot, the deer, we didn't find them. We put some dogs in there. They jumped two more deer. They jumped a little, a little, little teeny buck. little teeny buck. The buck that was born this year, they jumped him. And then they jumped a big old eight point, big old eight point. Not bigger than the one we seen, but big. He was a big eight point. He had a wide record. You, I'll show you, I'll show you a picture of him. And then, so yeah, that's basically it for the story time. But, but the more of the story is when you dog cutting, pay attention and keep your guard up. Because when that buck, we aiming this way, all I had to do was switch the gun around and throw him. I could have shot him. He tried to trick that dude that was right there, though. He was a smart buck. Because why that buck, if Corey went right there, that buck would have came straight through us. We still would have thought he was in front of us. We didn't do it. No, he was behind us. But more of the story is, always keep your gun up. 
and keep her guard up because that buck, he crossed right through us. We never seen him. Never seen him. And I didn't see him. My, my nail, he seen him, but he didn't see his, enough of him to shoot. JR, he seen his whole neck and the body and the front shoulder. That's all you needed to see. And his rack. JR didn't shoot him. He didn't shoot him. Nail, nail, nail regret that now. Nail, nail wanted to shoot him now. But he didn't. I didn't shoot him. Nobody shot him. Well, Corey shot him. And then uh, that's it. Nobody else seen him. He went in that thick stuff. Nobody seen him. Now, if buzzers start going around, I know Corey probably going to look again. Or they're going to go back to Luke Woods and find that deer. But it's just cool how that buck run right in between. All right, look. So I'm about 70, about 60, 70 yards away from the buck, right? He came out to my right. That dude about 50 yards away, the quarter about 80, 90 yards away on down, going straight down the line. Neil, he was about 20, 30 yards, 40 yards away, something like that. JR was about 50, 60 yards away down there. And that buck was actually in his direction, the buck. Them dogs ran that buck to us. That buck passed us once. They can't, they, that, and you remember the twig breaking? That was him. I never knew. I put the gun up. That went him. He came straight to me, passed us, went right back to him, and he came straight through the dude. Never, and he never seen him. But that buck smart. And this, if you listen closely, what I said, I'm gonna say it again. We had the gun this way, right? He, we thought he was this way. He tricked us, and then the deer was going to somebody else. If Jr. went and said deer, 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 that deer would have went straight to that other dude, and we would have actually got him. So. He came straight down the line of us. He came down, and if Corey went in there, Corey, if Corey was looking the other direction, that buck would have got right past us. We would never knew. The dude still didn't hear him going through the woods. We don't know where he did went. I seen the buck, though. I looked because the shot made me turn my head, so I boom. When Corey shot, boom, I looked. I, I could see the buck going in the rest of the woods. But that was actually a cool birthday for me. And I'm 12 now. So I'm going in two more weeks and I'm going to kill me another deer. I'm going to kill me a deer. I, I killed two deer, but I didn't kill two deer. And I'm going to say why. Both of them was bucks. I'm going to say why I say I, don't, I killed two deer, but I didn't kill two deer. One on my shot with a, with a um, single shot in my on my yard, on my road. The first buck I shot at. I shot him, he jumped up in the air, we never found him. I don't know if I hit the deer or nothing, I don't know if I skinned his back or what. The second one, I did a finishing shot, but I think I panicked and missed. And the reason why I say that, you know why people do finishing shots, because the deer trying to get back up or moving and stuff. That buck, he was smart. We started using seven and a half at the end because we couldn't find no buck shot. So that deer kept getting back up. And then we had to go back to the house and get more shells. So that gave the deer time to go to die. Then, then he kept getting back up. I shot him. My uncle told me to stay right here and watch where the buck go while he go go get in his truck and get some shells out of his truck. I was like, well, if this deer jump up, this deer just going to have to leave you. I'm just running. It was a buck, too. The buck stayed right there. And then he shot him. I said, can I shoot? I shot once the deer. Just sitting there looking at me. I thought I missed. I th I did miss. I think I think I hit him in the horns. <laughs> I was like five years away. You're five yards away from the deer. The reason why I think I missed is because I was scared. Yeah, I was scared to hit him. You know, I was scared to, for him to jump up and hit um, gore me on my leg or something. But back to the story. That buck, he was a lucky buck. And dude named Tutu. Tutu, he can he kill plenty of bucks. Tutu killed him a big old eight point. I show him. I show him at the end. As a matter of fact, that's gonna be the thumbnail, that buck. So if you wanna see the full picture, full thing of the buck, you gonna have to screenshot it and then zoom it in. Peace out. I got to go. I gotta use the bathroom and get my food. Bye.